Hey guys and welcome back. So in today's video, I am spending a day at the Durban Harbour. It's quite sunny today. Let me just put my sunglasses on. And yeah, we can go. So first off, let's start at the city of Durban, heading towards the harbour. I remember watching this National Geographics documentary a few years ago about the city of Durban. In the documentary, it said that KwaZulu-Natal, which is the province in South Africa where Durban is, was named after the birth of Christ by a Portuguese explorer. And after doing some Googling, this is what Google says. In 1497, the Portuguese explorer Vasco da Gama, coming from the opposite direction, reached the coast from around the Cape of Good Hope. He gave the region the name Terra Natalis. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Terra Natalis. Because he saw it on Christmas Day. The Natal in the name KwaZulu Natal means Christmas. So this is where uh, all the boats come park. I know they have uh, tours, but I think a lot of these are like personal boats maybe. If you look down, how many boats there are? Quite a few. So you joined me here today at Wilson's Wharf and I just stopped here to do a bit with the sign and to the left is the bat center and the maritime museum okay i'll have a look at that later for now let's focus on wilson's wharf royal natal yacht club can i go down here let me just see but it doesn't look like very secure Oh no, there is a gate that's uh, locked. COVID-19 protocol. So this gate is locked, so I can't go down. Maybe I can take a walk. But there's some quite nice boats here. Especially that one there. That looks nice. So, let me drive around and see what else is here. If I can turn left that will be great. As I just got back in my car, there's one yacht that's coming out of dock. Maybe it's going out into the harbour. So First part, Natal, Sea Scout base. There's a bunch of cars here. Let me turn left. I actually don't think I ever came to this side of the harbor ever, even though I've been living in Durban my whole life. So they do boat rides. I can see a sign from here that says boat rides. Let me park here. There's a boat right there. One hour sea cruise and us. 140 ren. Children, 100 ren. And they got some shops around here. So, if you look at this, you can see the ar harbor quite clear here. Yeah. Let me just take a walk. There's the city of Durban. And yeah, let, let's go closer to the water. So I think this would be close to what Maiden Wharf or something. 
Let me just get as close as I can. It looks quite shallow. It's the sand. Where's the water? Okay, this side of the harbor, that's sand. That's not water. There is a bit of water. But it looks quite shallow. But on that end, it's probably deeper where the, those ships are. Okay, cool. Let's go back to where those boats were. That's the boat by its place. There's some people going on a broad cruise. Okay, so I'm just going to head towards the Wilson's Wharf and see what's that like. Remember I saw earlier that it was like very shallow. Very less water here. I've been here before like on to the restaurants and stuff but I remember the water being a lot more like high tide. So we're on our way to Wilson's Bar. Here's some buildings in there. Okay, so this is the part of the harbor where like you have restaurants and stuff. This is a restaurant called Kudita and here we have more cruises, more boat cruises, simply the best fishing charters. Okay, there's more water here, at least there's water on this side of the harbor. So I think a lot of these boats are either personal or like cruising, cruisers boats. Let's go into this area because I, I can see people walking out. So I know that there's some shops and maybe more restaurants here. More boat rents. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's hundred. This is cheaper, hundred rand and seventy rand. The other one was hundred and forty rand. So I know there's some stores here and some restaurants. Yeah, one hour sea cruise, hundred fifty rand. Oh, that other one. Did it say how long it was? Cause the first one we saw was. One hour. This is also one hour.
another cruise, boat cruise. Anyway, let's work towards the side. going out wait there's a, a private property do not enter I thought I could walk down this ramp and go down but no I don't know if this restaurant is open. Let me see. So this is called the Spa Restaurant. But I'm just walking down to see how far I can look at the harbor. Oh, there's also a Mozambique yet. Mozambique restaurant, not the country, Mozambique. So as we just saw that uh, boat go on a cruise, here's it entering the harbor. Yeah? Well, like some places are like beach. You can see all the you see sand, you can't see any water up. but as you can see that boat is moving there's a lot of water in there but just some places uh, I think the, the ground may be too high so it's like an island or so This is just a small part of the harbor, but it's one of the most liveliest spaces because of all the restaurants and the bars and got the cruises here. Gender is too. Got some stores here selling clothes and other stuff. Another cruise about to depart. I just find my car. Okay. There it is. So off to the Ushaka side of the harbor. So you drive quite close. 
to where the water is. So, they told me I can walk around this white boat, but let me just have a look as to what's around here everywhere. Some old anchors and this looks like an old, very old wooden boat. This is a better view of the ship. Let me take a walk. Let me take a walk around this boat. So there are stairs there, if you can see on the other one, but I'm going to have a look at this white one first. I'll come back to this boat with that bell. Look at this propellers. I hope that they have some information about this boat somewhere because I'm not sure what it is. So there's some stairs here. I think I have to stop recording to get down. This boat is called the J.R. Moore and the port is Durban. There's a military ship right next to it. It's quite rusted. I know that's a wood ship, but it's quite degraded. There's that Bulundi and there's ZS RPN. So the stairs, 
if you can see where that pathway was there's no stairs at the bottom so I don't know if I can go there plus there's a no entry sign anyway that's this one let's have a look at the other one Wait, there's a plane helicopter here. and there's some other boats Of that, uh, part of Durban. Yeah, look at this pathway. I can see the stairs sort of fell down. Anyway, you can see it from here. Let me have a look at this black, black and red. These stairs look more secure than the other one. Hey. Ah, this is the engine room. But they told me that I can't go onto the deck because Apparently the deck is not in very good condition and I'm afraid of heights too anyway, so it doesn't matter. But this would have been an engine room. There's a furnace there, small box, uptake. This look like uh, those conrads. I don't know much about ship engines to tell you much shaft tunnel okay wait there's a like blueprint of this ship so this was a Saint Olundi general, general arrangement So on this bell, it says it is an Ovington Court, London, 25th of the 11th, 1940. There's a sign here. So I'm just leaving this museum to go further down and the guard told me that this is called the Bath Center 
it's dealing with art and stuff. The Bath Center, art, shops, food, entertainment. Let me go have a look. So, I don't know where the entrance is, but there's a door here. <laughs> okay, that's not opening. Okay, so that didn't open. Let's check the side. I think this may be the entrance. So this is the view of the harbor from the bath center. There's also a theater here. Yeah. That will be the entrance to the bath center. The Point Yacht Club. Oh, there's a smell here at the Point Yacht Club. Like a sewer smell. So this is Wilson's Wharf and now I'd like to take a drive towards Ushaka to see like the entrance of the harbor where ships can enter and exit. So let's get to there.
Just exiting this Wilson's Wharf. So this right here is the entrance to the part of Durban but I don't think I can go there I think it's like only for people that work at the harbour I don't know if you can just go sightseeing over there Customs and Excise So Transnet is the state-owned entity that's responsible for like shipping and the harbour and transporting stuff. There's looks like there's a big cruise ship behind these trees. You can't see it very well over here. And this is the new Nelson Mandela uh, cruise terminal. You can see the ship is right behind. That's the building and the ship is behind it. Oh yeah, there's a nice ship. So where I am right now is the Ushaka Promenade. I believe it's called Point Beach. Now we are at the Ushaka side of the harbour. As you can see, one ship is just exiting. But let me take a walk down here. So this is where a lot of people come for like riding their bikes and jogging. So this is a promenade here at Ushaka. Oh, they put some fencing here. This wasn't here the last time that I came, but I haven't been here in like a couple of months. I'm guessing it's to stop people going towards the rocky side because uh, uh, across this road is a harbor but there's some rocks over there so this is the entrance and exit into the Durban harbor you can see some chips there there's one shop that just left I was too late to get it on camera sadly if I can go closer here And it doesn't look like there's any other ships coming in or out at the moment. So it's kind of sad that I missed that shot. That would have been good for the video. So this entrance would go straight down to where I was with Wilson's Wharf and 
that Maiden Wharf area where all the nice uh, boats and restaurants were. That over there, that hilly side, that is the bluff area. Yeah. Oh wait, this ship is coming in. I thought it was going when it's coming in. Oh, lucky us. If you're wondering what's all that noise, there's a construction vehicle doing some construction stuff there, like moving sand and stuff. Here comes the ship. See, there's a guard. There's a guard there telling people not to cross this barrier. There's somebody was walking across. The ship is called Irene's Wisdom. Cargo ship. Keep your seas clean. No smoking. That's on the top where that, uh, I think that's called the bridge. Where like the captain and all does um, like maneuvers the ship and stuff. Yeah, from a distance it looked like it was leaving, but it was actually entering. Couldn't see because it was so far. I just saw like small part of it this is a nice place to come just to chill like for free to watch ships coming in and out of the harbor as I said this is like a promenade so people come uh, to exercise here they ride their bikes so on. It would be nice for like a thumbnail. So, let me take a picture with me and the ship. Ah, it's, it's quite sunny. Okay, I need my glasses. I can't do it without. So on the back of the ship it says Irene's Wisdom Maguru Is that a port where this ship is uh, registered to? I don't know, I never hear of Maguru before Maguru So that will conclude my visit to the harbour my day at the harbour the digger that is making all that noise so guys that will conclude my video for spending a day at the harbor i hope you all enjoyed it be sure to give it a like if you did and also make sure you subscribe to the channel for more like adventure videos tourist stuff and there's a restaurant here if you look down this is the ushaka promenade right that's the city of Durban and the beach. The restaurant there, I've never been there before. Maybe I should try going there one day.
So this is the port of Durban. As you can see with that sign. Oh, you, yeah, it is. Fred. Fred. Fred Olsen Cruise. And here we are coming up to the Nelson Mandela Cruise Terminal. This is a newly built terminal for cruises. Here we can see it better. <laughs> 